We got our yearbook sitting in front of us, buddy. Yep. Me and you went to high school together. We did, see? Yeah. I was a little older than you. But you got a cover for yours. You had Oh you, yeah. You had a couple extra dollars to spend on yours. I you? sure did, I guess. So this is a segment we thought would be interesting, uh, you know, where we uh pull out our high school yearbooks and you know how people write in your yearbook and they will leave you a message and sometimes a phone number. And they say things like, Hey, never forget, call me up sometime. Don't be a stranger, you know. Yep. Call anytime. You know, so that's what we're doing. And we just pick ones at random. Do you uh, want to play this game with me, or do you have a love letter? I've, I've uh, pulled out an old love letter. I'll, I'll read when you get finished. This is some. Okay, so I'll do this one first. Um, last time we played it, we couldn't get anybody on the phone. Yep. And I, and I called a girl. This time, I think I'm going to call a dude. <laughs> you should. Yeah, yeah. Mix it up. He told you to call him anytime, or did he just? Well, give let's his phone read. Number? Let's read it. Yeah. Um, here we go. John, wild man, how's it going? Knowing you in football and in weight class has been an experience. Good luck in good luck in the future. You probably won't need it. David Turner. Don't yeah. remember him. He came to he came into our high school about maybe his sophomore year or something. You know what I mean? It's a guy we didn't grow up with. Okay. But he did play football. He was our backup quarterback my senior year. Um, mm -hmm. Good guy. Good guy. Um, now, he didn't tell me to call him, but there is a phone number next to it. Yeah. So what do you think? I think that's kind of implied. I think if you put a phone number down in a yearbook, yeah. you're basically inviting a phone call. Well, let's, let's call right? up this number and see. I'll go with the old area code first. And see if we can get David Turner on the phone and uh, see uh, if he has any fond memories of football or weight class. Because that's what he left. Give it a whirl. And after we do this, Stamos has a love letter that we could read. Or we could do someone from your yearbook. Oh, wait. I forgot to uh, uh, introduce the segment. Oh, right. Uh, we don't have a theme song. No, we don't. Anything, <laughs> no. This is a segment where I call up people from my yearbook. It's called, hang on. It's called "Remember Me." Yeah, that's that's the whole opening of the, of the show the segment. Yeah, right. John, John keeps coming forget. up with new segments that I have to create openings for, so I'm still behind on those. Uh, so. uh, well, always feel free to correct me if I don't forget to open a bit. Yes. Um, okay, because sometimes we've been lumping it in with other things. That's but. true. Okay, let's see if uh, we can get David Turner on the horn. I mean. These are like landlines. Most of these yeah, numbers are not going to work. Oh! I'm sorry. That's not good. You've been Let's on a roll try. lately. So. Huh? So you've been on a roll lately. You've been getting some people to answer. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do the new area code and see if that will work. Uh, wait a minute. Tell me what you think that number is, by the way. I can't tell what that fourth number is. I know if... Yeah. We'll bleep that out. Yeah. Let's uh let's see what we got here. So it could be a four or an eight. Yeah. I'm gonna try eight after this. Oh. All right. That one didn't work out. He's been yeah, he's disconnected. You know, that's probably what's gonna happen most of the time. Do you want me to try another one from my yearbook or do you want to go straight to the love letter? I gotta do another one. I got Adrian Lutz well, right go here. Ahead, go ahead and give it another well, I'm shot. Go ahead and tell you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait. That that number's gonna work. You can I'm gonna, you can call that one. They've well let's read point. what he says. Because okay. if he wants me to call him in his message, then I will. Then you will, but if you don't, we'll we know this dude. We're still friendly with this guy. You know, some people you do stay in touch with over the years after high school, and some you don't. That's most people I've been calling is the ones that I have not kept in contact with. Yeah. But this one might be an exception. Let's read what he says. John. <laughs> this is classic Adrian. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read it like he wrote it. John. Well, it's been a great year. Well, don't get... Too much puss at the beach. <laughs> Get drunk and have fun. Adrian Lutz. <laughs> well, That's so him. I should call him and tell him how much I did or did not get at the beach that year. Uh, now, but the problem is, I, 
there are too many digits in the number. Oh, he didn't put his. <laughs> like, like, there's supposed to be four digits at the end. Yeah. There are five. No. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's also classic Adrian Lutz. Yeah. So you tell me what that number is and what it means. Alan, get ready to. Well, don't say the numbers out loud. Just kind of guess. But does it look like five digits at the end instead of four? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to do a parenthesis right there. I don't. Maybe that's what. But then there should be another parenthesis on the other end. I know, but he didn't. (laughs) That's not a parenthesis. But I've I've called that. Do you know the real number? It's. But I used to. But it's just been so long. I can't remember. So you. So even looking at this number, you couldn't tell. It doesn't jog your memory of what the old. No. 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 (laughs) That's how bad his handwriting is. Yeah. Um. Gosh. Let's not call that one. Let's call another one here. You got another guy in there? Yeah. Well, this might be good. Steven Schmidt. Okay. I know him. Alan, you know Steven Schmidt. Yep. Mm -hmm. Played football with him as well. And uh, I can read his number. So let me read you what he wrote just so we can try one more. I feel like we should try one more. And then we'll read your love letter. John, well, it – why can't anyone – Say the plural of the word it. It's its. Well, it bit. Well, well, it about time to go to the beach. And I guarantee. This is great. And he's smarter than this. I don't understand this. I'm going to start over, guys. John, well, it about time to go to the beach. And I guarantee me. You, John, Jason, Andrew, and Sean are going to be wasted the whole time. I something not are not drink I something are not drinking will be messing around with the ladies. <laughs> well, John, see you over the summer and call me if you want to go party. It's never a time to now. That's he party. says, call me if you want to. He didn't say call me over the summer. What do you think that is right there? After that little squiggly, that big period right there where he messed up, read that. Um, if you are not drink, if you are. If you are. No, uh, if we are not drinking, we'll be messing around with the lady. Okay, I figured it out. That's right. Is okay, that- well, let's call Stephen Schmidt. I'll ask him. Um, I'll ask him what he, he remembers from that trip, and just catch up with him. I'm gonna try the old area code first. Uh, I love Stephen Schmidt, by the way. He was a great athlete, uh, very fast. He was also on the track team. Let's see if this number works. I'll try the old area code first. We got here in Hickory. We used to have a different area code, and then it changed. Yep. All right. Okay, look, we struck out today. That's what happens. Now, do you have numbers in your yearbook that you want to try, or do you want to go to the love letter? Um, I haven't I hadn't dug through and looked. I've got some, but it'd take me a second to find them. But I, would, I got a love letter. Let's do that, because yeah, we'll I feel like you uh, would really like to talk. Well, that's the end of member me. Well, this is a member me, too. This is member me, because yeah. it's a walk down member lane. Yeah. Um, Memory lane. First one I've got is a, uh, it's not really a letter, but it's just a, uh, it was something handed to me that makes somebody jealous, I believe. Oh. So the letter says, I love Mark, true love forever. But the bottom of it, it says, P.S., show Scott, erase this before you show him, and then tell me what he says. So, (laughs) (laughs) Right? If you want to watch the whole version, the entire episode, click on this little square right here. Or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later, click on that little bubble right there. And thank you.